Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL Season 50 Round of 16 match between Ducky and his Wood Elves and Peds McDuff, who's Pedro Jack, and his Chaos Dwarves. In the booth with me is absolutely nobody. Um, <laughs> Pedro is down quite a lot of TV. He's got a wizard and a bribe. 15 players. He skilled up two of his uh, chaufs, so he gave them both piling on to try and high roll against Ducky, which is a quite a reasonable, quite a reasonable course of action to take. Uh, however, what isn't reasonable is taking both down instead of a pow. Okay. Well, not what I would have done, but who can say if it's good or bad? Um, yeah, but that was pretty nice. <laughs> pretty nice, the strength one. Getting a 3D on him, not nice taking the both down. Gets guard on both cage corners. You know, it's a pretty, pretty standard uh, no, short team, isn't it? In until I'm victorious. And oh I will God. defend. I will defend. Played a 15-year-old and tabletop on Sunday. I was winning 2-0 at halftime. I had to start giving him tips to help him out because you, I felt bad. I'm not even. I'm not even joking. I read that as I pulled a 15-year-old, and I was like, "What?" <laughs> but thank God it was played a 15-year-old. Thank you very much, Rubino. <laughs> Staying fantastic for eight glorious months. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's a pretty nice team from from uh, Ducky, isn't it? Block guard tree couple of edge five dancers like it's it's not nothing that's setting the world on fire but he has got pretty much everything you want right he's got a strength up guy he's got the edge on the dancers which is really nice he's got the move on the catcher so it's like he's definitely got good things going for him um but you know he could he could take some attrition here versus this rowdy rowdy chuff team Oh, okay, but he's just gotta gotta keep it safe, hasn't he? That's the problem. Like it is a problem. Like these dancers are, uh, are pretty horrifying. Um, and he doesn't have the strength, so he can't particularly out muscle right to to get the hits off with chaffs. That it's not it's not as easy as people like to make out chaffs against elves. But what doesn't help is when you uh, when you choose both dancers at a pass. No offense. <laughs> Um, so kind kind of like a bit rowdy from El from I keep calling him Elliot. I want to call him Elliot in my head for some reason. Pretty rowdy from Ducky, and he keeps that same rowdiness, right? You can punch here, he can punch here, he can punch here. This is uh, I don't know how this has happened, honestly, but like I don't like this assist so much. Because if he'd assisted from here and he powered, he could have powered him into the tree, right? So I, I would have quite liked to have seen the dancer here and powering onto the tree. Can't really hit this one. But he can blitz with a strength four wrestler. And yeah, we've got basing the ball, and yeah, it is like pretty much a brutal team split, isn't it? Really nice occupying all these players. So Pedro can keep hold of the ball for another turn at least, <laughs> but he's just getting people knocked down and getting back up again it's pretty rough isn't it but now this guy can fly into here and this guy can and this guy can so he can you can get these four in a line that well three in a line down here is pretty good so yeah that's pretty strong that's pretty strong getting all these guys back up that's uh, that's team almost back together, isn't it? But yep, Ducky just banging. And like, you know, this is the thing, like, you know, people, 
people make a lot of uh, make a lot of criticism out of banging ways and stuff. But like, honestly, banging is where it's at ninety nine times out of hundred, isn't it? Like, you know, if you just if you just do like you see the bad the bad advice on the internet is like elves dodge away, but they don't. They they punch if they can, right? They want they want to keep the tree involved and they want they want to punch anybody they can. They don't wanna they don't wanna dodge away, they wanna try and they wanna try and maximize hits every turn still. Try not to get their war dancers smashed by Pom. Oh, and cast. <laughs> badly hurt. Apple comes out on the badly hurt. So that is a very competitive apple from the duckster. <laughs> this guy really should have been cast on turn one, right, with that poem, but somehow, <laughs> somehow he's still in the game. <laughs> So the good thing for Ducky is it's turn four and like he's uh, Pedro still deep in his half. I'm not sure I like that dodge. Uh, well, now I really don't like it. Um. <laughs> now I really don't like it. Um, but I guess the thing is, if he just stands up, he can get punched into the uh, into the tree, right? Which is one of the things for stand firm. So it's funny because he did pile and it did get the cars on the dancer, the pile. But then, if this guy had had stand firm, he would he could have stood firm there and not got punched in the tree. So I could either you leave him down or you dodge him, right? Like it it doesn't make sense to stand up because if you stand up, you'll get punched in the tree, and then both of your pawns are prone on the tree, which is horrendous. So it totally makes sense to do it. I just didn't I just didn't like it. Um. Yeah, so like, now the problem, the problem now is for Pedro is how the hell does he get forward, right? And it's taken this long that it's getting to the point where he might have to even give up trying to score, depending on how the next couple of turns go, because if you go for the score, you can get caught with your pants down, can't you, by elves? So I think maybe the blitz should have come on this guy, or at least try to get a tackle over this side. This guy, I guess, can come over. Oh, the, the, the bull. Yeah, okay, the bull's even better. Yeah, that's nice. Get him in contact. Maybe not so nice, but yeah, double bull's fine. This guy can go there. Yep, yeah, that's also fine. Gets the foul. And strength four. Oily nice. Yeah, it's pretty great having the tree. Having the tree root there is not even that bad, right? Oh, did the the bribe failed? Rough. The tree rooting here is totally fine for the elves because you can't you can't fully ignore him like going down either side, right? And like if you do go down the side, it's easier for the elves. So like you can't go through the middle because of him. And so if you're going down the side, you've got to go here so he can't push you into the tree. So having the tree even rooted is pushing you into like a five tile width push which is pretty terrible right pretty terrible that's totally gonna let the elf screen you off easily so yeah the, the tree's pretty great the tree is pretty great as much as core hates it it's it's got a lot of value and a lot of matchups and yeah now the, how the hell does pedro get forward here So you put both his bulls together, which is what you never want. Never want your bulls touching. This does let him get up the pommel, which is nice. But it's pretty much giving up the score attempt here. Pretty much giving up the score attempt. Joe's got a lot of bench, yep. Yep, so it's not too bad. Oh, he got, he got, a, he got a Merc DP as well. I'm not sure that was necessary. I wonder if there was a better adjustment he could have got on DP. Any double ones? No, he doesn't double one yet. Okay. Nice. Right, so he's got two turns, so he's got a bit of a chance of a score. 
got two bulls that you could hand off to. This guy could make four GFIs, uh, three GFIs to score. Because he's move seven. So he's still got some people technically in range, but obviously he is at the point where it risks the overextend. And also there was a random one day on the ball here. Which Ducky thinks he might as well go for. Oh yeah, like a deep a deep elf bench. I mean, three three is a deep elf bench. Like it's great if you can have it. Like no one chooses no one chooses to not to. Yeah, with three rerolls, maybe. Yep. Yep, good point. Good point, C rolls. Maybe. Maybe. A very clever beaver. So there you go. I mean, he is dead. Like, this is... This is ballsy from Pedro, because if this fails, he is up shit creek. But he gets it. Yes, baiting the pass, like... It's it's very ballsy, like, yeah, yeah. There's still a chance to go down as well, right? But um, can this guy reach? He can reach. He can reach, surely. So it's, he can still get two D on this pretty easily. Yeah, it's not great, but the problem is, is just if it fails, you lose, right? Like, it was there was a good shout for Pedro just giving up on the score here. Well, I've just gone for the 1D. Interesting. Gets the pow. Cool. And gets the... No, doesn't get the ball. He's got reroll. And now, all of a sudden, the elves are much likely to score than the dwarves. And this is the problem, like, he had such little penetration early that it, it really was a consideration to give up on the score. And I can see the temptation to go for it and that. And I would have probably gone for it and regretted it as well. The thing is, if, if you've got a guy like, if you've got the guy right here, then it's less likely he goes for it, right? So, I agree with Ducky trying to bait it, but yeah, he could have baited it safer, right? Like, kept kept a catcher here, and a dancer, like a dancer here, and a catcher here, and a catcher here. Still kind of baits it if he wants it. So... Break tackle trigger. Oh, he's out moving anyway. Instant one. Diced. Use that five, so it's an easy pass. Intercept. Diced. And makes the dodges and scores in the middle of the goal. Oh, disgusterous. Flipping wood elves. Yeah, I think I think bait the pass, but in a in a safer way was the correct play. Yeah, I think that was that was too likely to not work in Ducky's favour. It was a bit it was a bit too gambly maybe. Yeah, that's a good. And that's, I think I'd agree with that. I think you could have. Like, it was already getting to the point where I would have thought about giving up on the score. And then, then you know, like, if you make it so that you're too responsive, then he, he, he maybe he doesn't go for it, so... It's tough. You want him to go for it and fail. You definitely want him to go for it and fail, right? Or, like... 
There are field goals uh, in penalty kicks, Wang. Uh, in penalty kicks, there's the animation, but yeah, there's no field goals here. There was, there were field goals in second edition Blood Bowl, but yeah, there's, there's penalty kicks after overtime, which go through those field goals. Look quick snap. Kicks, of course, are gone in Blood Bowl three, and I don't know if I don't know if that means the goals are gone. And we're just going to get a quick two-turn score here. Sure, looks like it. Yeah, you should have just conceded, Tom. Absolute scumbag. Toxic Tom. Typical Frenchman. <laughs> well, French-Canadian. Even worse. <laughs> A glorious bit of banging here from the Woodies. No, I'm not going up the middle. I thought it would have, I thought it would come up a couple of middle and like really committed to this two turn. Oh wow, the Dublay ones. Unfortunately for the Chorfs, there's still not a whole lot they can do about it, is there? Yeah, pom him. Put some stuff over there. Base people up. Hope you can get a wizard. It's pretty desperate. Like, there is the wizard, though. So there, there is a chance for Pedro at the moment. There is a chance. So, yeah, I like this. I like this. Get the bull. Get the bull down. So you can at least threaten the wiz next turn. Probably want to put this bull back here. And then these guys over. So you, yeah, I think this is a bit too weak up there. Stand this guy up first. Like now's the time you've just got to get your players hit, right? It sucks, but you've just got to get them hit. Ooh, cheeky cars. Yep, oh, the double ones. I mean, if, if you're ducky here, you want, you want to just get at this catcher, don't you? That's why I wanted something in front of the catcher. You just pick it up, pass it to him, hands off, scores. Oh man, another one. Brutal. I might have not pick. I might have not rerolled the first pick up, but obviously you have to reroll that one. He could just run away, actually, he doesn't even need the handoff, right? He could probably screen it with this guy, this guy could just dodge. Wow, well, makes the makes the two plus extra two plus for the pass. But the, uh, oh yeah, there's the whiz, isn't there? Hmm. Hmm. I wouldn't have hated just, just screening the that guy, but yeah, you really don't want that guy bolted, do you? So maybe it's worth doing the pass to uh, to be two nil up and then uh, not getting him bolted. So it's not over. It's still not over, but as the Chorfs, you really don't want to be the guy who got outbashed here. <laughs> you really want to be the one doing the outbashing in this situation. You know, if if Ducky's got five players left, maybe he can come back from 2 0 down. Um, like Day Day in the uh, <laughs> in the GG Tour qualifier versus me, you know, if if you're eleven versus if you're eleven versus four, you've got a chance to come back from 2 0. But um if you, if you've got a team with a bunch of hobgoblins in versus match five dancers, not so good.
Yeah, it was just a two plus. Like it, uh, the you know, there's definitely massive payoffs to going for that pass. Oh wow, here we go, the greedy banger hit on the dancer with a re-roll as well. Fuah, <laughs> love to see it. And maybe that's like kind of you know, maybe that's fair, right? Like just well, it would have been better going for this one if you can go for one of them. Like the obvious play is just the pom, this guy, but fair enough, right? You've got to get lucky, so why not? Why not hit a dancer? Yeah. Yeah, like I mean it's pretty much over, right? It's it's not it's not really an early GG anymore, is it? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Two nil down, outbashed versus Woodies. <laughs> um it's not too much of an early GG at this point. But he still does have a chance. <laughs> yeah, it was a little early GG, yeah, yeah. I love that, like, in, in, in the Marvel, the Marvel Snap game has the early GG, right? When, when you snap, you're early gg your opponent in that you've won. And then when you, when you retreat, you're early gg because you've lost. It's fucking great. <laughs> they should they shouldn't have called it snap. They should have called it early gg. That would have been much better. And then you just, you just click the early gg button. That would have been brilliant. Yeah, loads of guys on him. This poor kicker's probably just got to stay there, right, to, to take the... Uh, <laughs> ah, to take the pom hit instead of a dancer taking it. At this point, I'd just be worried about Pedro killing my dancers. <laughs> more, more than anything else. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Jim. Oh, it's it's, again, it's private, Dimmy. Hello. <laughs> right, right. I'm not a private mate. I'm a. Uh, what, what it's called? It's like a officer Fuck cadet. Off or Dimmy. Oh, officer cadet Dimmy. Hello. <laughs> it's, it's pretty important, Jim. <laughs> yeah, very important. Yeah. Bringer of beer mats. <laughs> oh yeah, you need beer mats. Oh, it's Ducky's Woodies. <laughs> Yep. This is Pedro's Chorfs, who's been banged out by... <laughs> by... Oh, is Ped smoked off Pedro Jack, is he? Yeah. He's been, uh... bang... <laughs> He's been banged out by Ducky, so... <laughs> Amazingly not going great for him. So, yeah, not, not much commentary, but uh, there you go. How, how, how's your foxhole? Oh, sorry, I thought I was muted. Um, yeah, mate, all good. Uh, I thought, uh, has Ducky fouled yet? No, I don't think so. Oh my god, is this a Ducky game? <laughs> he hasn't needed to, he's just he's just casting everybody with blocks. <laughs> Obliterating, oh my god. <laughs> I told you Wrestle, Wrestle is the best kill skill in the game. It really is, yeah. I never it knew honestly it. is, mate. Like, every time you see Wrestle hit anything, it's just permadeath. Like, <laughs> Oh what is the uh, hobos uh, the chorfs down TV? How big is he? Oh my god, he's got AG five. Yeah, he's he's got he's got oh, two AG five dancers, a string up, a move up, a couple of oh guard. I just saw the loner dirty player hobgoblin and was like, what? Yeah, no, he's got a loner. He had a he had a bribe that failed. He had a wizard that he hasn't used yet. And uh, yeah, it's I mean it's a pretty big fourteen players. It's a pretty big. Uh, Pretty big team for the Duckster. He's absolutely smashed him. Yep. Yep. But he's getting to Pomer Dancer. What is oh. this? Round two? Or, uh, uh, round of 16. Three. Round three. Mm. Doesn't pile? <gasps> Doesn't pile? Carry on! <laughs> Carry on! Oh. Mate, he may be so just defeated that he's just gone there. Yeah, no, it's fair enough. I'm not. I'm not actually calling Gary. <laughs> Mate, oh, I'd, I'd, I'd be skipping turns. <laughs> yeah, I would as well. Yeah. Just Who be cares? like, get me out of this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I think I might have I might have done the Jim Mouse thing. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Smashed it. Gone. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think that that's the best play to make at this point. Yeah. Man, the mouse the mouse thing was a lot of fun. Yeah, it definitely relieves stress. Yeah. It's gonna score. Now, now, yeah, now he's just taking a mickey. Oh, he's not gonna score. Well, this dancer could be fouled. But yeah, but he's well, he sensed the give up, and he because he didn't pump. Yeah, yeah. But he actually feels sorry for him at this point. That's that's <laughs> even worse. <laughs> when your opponent starts feeling sorry for you. Oh, it doesn't pile. Yeah, because he's that's it. He's done, isn't he? He's defeated. Yeah, yeah he's defeated. He's all like he's his just spirit like, is broken. <laughs> And, then, and that's why that's why Ducky didn't score. He just was like, "Yeah, this guy's mentally done." <laughs> even he can't even bring himself to pile on. Yeah, he's just like, that's it, isn't it? Oh, that is tragedy. That's what Ducky does to you. That's the Ducky effect. <laughs> isn't it just? Oh, it's, it's oh, Ducky that's so ball. sad. What's that's the point like, of even playing Blood Bowl? It's like it's like boxer in Animal Farm. <laughs> it is, mate. It is. It is. The ducky effect, mate. I'm, I'm calling it. I'm calling it. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. It's the, this is probably the saddest moment in any Blood Bowl game I've ever seen. Yeah. I, I got I, I got to watch Ducky play Blood Bowl in uh, a Chalice game once. That was fun. Mm. Oh. Oh. Can't even pile on. <laughs> <laughs> it's just defeated, mate. It's done. <laughs> Oh, oh, this is like, you know, this is this is hard to watch, isn't it? It's, <laughs> it's the great sadness. Well, it's not hard to watch because he's a claw palm chore team and he deserves it. Like, <laughs> honestly, he's the cancer of Blood Bowl getting removed. Yeah, fair, fair. With a hot, uh, what is it? A press like the things they mark cows with. Oh, oh, now he's put the foul in. Mm. He's like, I'm gonna kill your tree. Fireballs his own players. <laughs> yeah, this is it, isn't it? I told you he's done, isn't he? He's mentally checked out. He checked yeah. out when he Oh yeah, a while off. ago, yeah. Yeah, that was great. Woody's are just as bad if not worse, yeah, it's true. This team is horrendous. No one's beating this, surely. Well they might. I mean Cyber's team's amazing. Creepy's team's pretty good, like Cyber might not even win his game versus Creepy. Yeah. <laughs> is it Chaos versus Chaos, is it? Mm. Okay. Yeah, I did, I guess. Yeah, but I mean, Cyber's good bang team. on the chaos train, isn't he? Yeah, I man. think Cyber does better against non edgy teams, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, th this is a really good team. For and it's got Ducky, so yeah, it's it's going to be pretty hard to beat. He's got the Ghetto One Turner, the same as Chunter, the move nine sprint to your feet. So. So, yep, yeah, it's. Uh, I wonder if uh, I wonder if Ducky should have scored earlier to try and get on that guy. I don't know how many SPPs he's on. Very harsh uh, criticism. This if it's if it uh, is one. Ducky he's on seventeen. Took, no, no. Ducky, Ducky took pity on him, mate. That was what it was. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> Never show pity, Ducky. That's a weakness, mate. Yeah, we can we can do a thing of like the final eight, right? We can do that tomorrow. I mean, well, I don't know if you'll be around tomorrow, but uh, ah, uh, mate, I'll be foxholing <laughs> down the foxhole. There's Page versus Toast Guy, and Cyber Knight versus Creepy tomorrow. I mean, Cyber Knight versus Creepy is the big one. So then after Cyber Knight versus Creepy, can do like the final eight preview, and uh, there's probably a few people that could beat Ducky, but yeah, I guess he'd be. I guess it'll be pretty favourite. This is a monster I, I would not want to play this team, regardless of what team I have. I can't even think of a team that I'd want to play this <laughs> against Lucky. Like, Jesus. Wee! <laughs> just, oh. just run through all the tackle zones. <laughs> oh, dear. I mean, it's fair enough, right? He'd lost, he'd lost, so it's fair enough. Um, so there you go, I congratulations. I pity the fool. I pity the fool. <laughs> congratulations to Ducky, commiserations to Pedro Jack. Thank you, 
uh, Dibby for coming in for a little bit, you know, digging yourself out of your foxhole. Lovely to have you. Have you That's alright, mate. That's alright. I had a tantrum and left. <laughs> alright. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.